Hey guys, uh, welcome to your singles love reading uh, for Leo. This is going to be for April 2022. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at what your current overall energies are regarding love. We'll see what are your current blockages and challenges in finding love. And then we will see what you can look forward to moving forward. Um, see if anyone new, new is coming towards you uh, regarding love, okay? So feel free to apply, apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch the roles if you want. Um, also keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Leo, let's get started. Tell me about Leo. What is Leo's current overall energies regarding love for April 2022 for the singles Leos? O uh, overall energies for the singles Leos regarding love for April 2022. All right. Okay, so we have the Tower here and the Knight of Swords. So Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Knight of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Um, and then we have the Death card and the Hermit. Scorpio energy and Virgo energy here. Um, seems like you you walked away from like a disaster here. Whatever it was, I feel like this was very confusing to you, okay? Perhaps you realize whatever you were going through here with someone, this could have been an, this could have been an illusion, okay? So I feel like right now, Leo, you could be in this energy of going through like a spiritual transformation here. And you know, with that tower, the universe could have stepped in, stepped in to help you out here. I think something flipped over here. Hold on one sec. Oh yeah, we have the four swords. Okay, I'll take that. Seems like you've sort of disengaged or stepped away from something that was really confusing or something that was really damaging, okay? You could have been dealing with someone who was incredibly impulsive here, okay? Maybe this person had, had like a really razor sharp tongue. Um, whoever you're dealing with here, I do feel like this person might have been kind of hyperactive or something like that. Um, tell me about the King of Swords here. That's not the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. All right, we have the Four of Cups. We have some fours here. So I'm, I'm feeling like whatever has happened here in the past or recently, that was just a lack of stability. Uh, tell me about the Seven of Cups. Oh. We have the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Eight of Cups. The Ace of Swords, yeah. So whatever happened here, I feel like some sort of confusion that you were going through here, an experience that you were going through someone, became clear to you. And I feel like you walked away from this confusion. Or that, you know, someone here was keeping you as an option. Okay, you were a doormat. And I feel like you stepped away from that because of that. You know, whoever this person is, oh, I thought this was the Four of Cups. It's the Six of Cups here. Okay, so this is someone that you disengaged from. This is a past person and they're unexpectedly rushing back. Okay, I feel like you didn't expect this coming. So this is someone that you have disconnected from for a very, very long time. Uh, tell me about the death card. You the page of cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, um, 
I, I feel like for some of you guys, this is more of a recent thing. You might have even met up with this person and, real, and realized since you guys separated that this person that you've been dealing with has not changed or evolved or grown up. Tell me about the hermit. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, so I feel like, um, Leo, I feel like you learned your lesson here regarding this past situation, regarding this tower moment that you had with someone here. And I feel like someone here hasn't, okay? But I feel like, you know, I feel like you're still going to keep walking away. I do feel like a lot of you guys might have had a conversation with this individual and realize, oh shit, this person has not changed. You know, it might have been like uh, five years or 10 years that you might have, might not have seen that this person. Maybe longer, maybe shorter. Uh, but just apply this to your own unique situation. What are some of the blocks and challenges that Leo, single Leo is currently facing in finding love? What are some of the challenges and blockages that single Leo is currently facing in finding love? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for um, April 2022. Let's see what we have here. With the hangman and then the high priestess in the reverse okay pisces energy and cancer pisces energy with the high priestess in the reverse i mean there is a sense of awareness but i feel like you know perhaps leo there are issues trusting your uh intuition could be the ego get in the way get it could be the ego getting in the way or something like that Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse in the Two of Swords. So seven plus two is nine. I do feel like someone here might have some sort of mental health issue. You know, it could be the person that you're dealing with. It could be you because I'm getting like a, a, you know, ADHD you know, hyperactivity, there could be depression here. Um, could be a situation that you're maybe skittish around people or scared of getting hurt. So whatever this major tower moment that you went through here, it could have been a major thing that was really traumatizing for you. Because um, I feel like someone here is in their head a lot. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Seems like you are, you, some, I feel like some of, you, some of you guys might be seeking help from others here, trying to get over, you know, the dis disappointment, the pain here, okay? Trust issues and stuff like that. Five of Cups. Because I feel like there's still disappointment that you're still holding on to or, or that there's still regret that you're holding on to, Leo. Um, hangman. The Hierophant, High Priestess in the Reverse, and Judgment, okay. Um, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy, Judgment here, Sagittarius, Scorpio Energy. I don't know, I'm feeling like, you know, there, it could be that the answers are right in front of someone, but I feel like someone here might be refusing to accept it or something like that, Okay. Could be a situation that someone here is refusing to accept their part, you know, in this relationship. Because even though like someone here did you wrong, like you have to accept like you know, you know, a, a small percentage of it, you know, because we we have a role. We had a role that we play. We have a role that we play in relationships. Okay, because it takes two. Yeah, it takes two. Maybe there's a, you know someone here is just not ready to admit that they're, you know, two, three percent that, you know, they could have been, you know, wrong in certain areas or something like that. You know, it could be like a control thing or something like that. Okay. Uh, perhaps, you know, a control thing, trying to change someone or make someone do something that they're not ready for. Okay. Uh, seven of Swords in the reverse. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Ooh. The Two of Swords, okay, and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, okay, Queen of Wands, and then the Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. I mean, this is Aries Leo Sag. Let 
you know, I'm going to pull more before I say anything else. Three of Pentacles. With the Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and then the Queen of Cups. Seems like we have someone here that's very emotionally not happy, unfulfilled. You know, seems like someone here is holding on to their pain. The thing is, I feel like I do feel like this Queen of Wands is trying to overcome their insecurities or something like that. This Queen here. So we have two people here. It could be a situation that both of you guys mirror each other, you know? Um, you know, perhaps the same behaviors and stuff like that, you know, the same mannerisms. Because um, a lot of the times when we're in these types of relationships, you know, we attract someone uh, who's, um, you know, a direct reflection of what we're going in, uh, what's going on inside of us internally. So let's see what else we have here. Um... What can Leo look forward to regarding love? What can single Leos look forward to regarding love? Is there anything new coming towards single single Leo's way for April 2022? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the five of wands in the reverse. Someone here could be holding on to like negative energies or just negative thoughts. There could be a bit of like pessimism here. Okay, we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus energy. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, we have the King to Queen of Cups. This is a true pair, a soul tie. With the Ace of Pentacles, there could be new love here where, you know, where there's a situation where there could be like growth and expansion here, okay? Stability, you know, long term. Stability, balance, long term commitment here. We have the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, with that page of swords that's the energy of looking so i feel like you could be looking for this you know i feel like you know maybe this person might be in your orbit in around your energies or something like that you know this person could eventually come towards you okay tell me about the devil okay we have the knight of wands five of wands in the reverse and the six of wands and the nine of wands Whoever this knight is, I feel like this knight or this king, I mean, someone here is definitely trying to come back towards you or that someone here has been bugging you. Whoever this person is, this person is very, very, very negative, okay? I feel like this is an individual that, you know, comes around and drains your energy or that this person that you're dealing with here really drains your energy, okay? Um, you know, this person could have narcissistic tendencies or something like that. This person creates a lot of stress and anxiety, okay? So this person has, you know, um, a large, really a large inflated ego. Tell me about the Empress here. We have the Ten of Swords, King of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Seems like someone here is definitely might be coming back towards you. Yeah, unexpectedly. Remember I was saying that in the beginning here, but I feel like you might shut this person down. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Seven of Wands. I feel like you're gonna protect yourself. You know, I feel like you're gonna look towards the future here uh, regarding new love. Seven of Wands. You know, I feel like you might be still looking for this person or that this person's in and around you or in your orbit, but you haven't met this person yet. Um, Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Seems like there might be new love coming towards you. Yeah, there might be new love coming towards you. You know, it could be someone here that's very emotionally available for you or that someone here is just very emotionally aware, okay? Someone here that's not gonna just, you know, you know, just run around, you know, hurting you or something like that. 
okay? So Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.